Well, it's the final day of uh, WISIS Forum 2015, and I'm talking to Yaroslav Ponder, who is the uh, Senior Strategic and Policy Advisor of ITU, also the man responsible, I believe, for uh, organising WISIS, the WISIS Forum. Congratulations on to you, Mr Ponder. Now, you told me at the beginning of the conference uh, that you wanted to build on the fresh priorities that were developed last year. How has that uh, process gone? Yes, this, this is the fact. Um, we started the conference with several workshops uh, which um, proved that uh, the new fresh list of the priorities for 11 WISIS action lines have been very well adapted and uh, transmitted into the operational level. Uh, we got ready the proofs uh, that these new priorities and the fresh uh, vision is already at the level of the implementation. And this makes us proud, in fact, of the consensus which we reached uh, in 2014, developing the uh, new set uh, of uh, the guidelines uh, for those who are working on the ground. And this is really is what counts, because uh, those people, those stakeholders are making a real change and making the life of the human being much better, more efficient and uh, um, preparing the future, uh, better future. So in the space of a year we've gone from the ideas from last year and already some of those are being implemented. Yes, this absolutely. And uh, during the two uh, days of the high-level policy statements, we also noticed that a lot of the fresh priorities have been already included in the uh, messaging of the ministers, uh, deputy ministers, ambassadors, CEOs of the companies. And this makes us uh, believe uh, that the commitment is, is continuously growing towards the WSIS process and the most important towards the implementation component of the WISIS process, uh, which in fact um, uh, aims at connecting all uh, on the, in the world. There are plenty of the new uh, items which are coming uh, on our agenda. This year we focused on the innovation component and uh, when you are going from the session to session constantly you are uh, taking a look at how people uh, are uh, using their uh, power of the brains in order to talk about the innovation, about the real change and the real impact. And well, this indeed. makes us really happy to see. The theme, of course, this year was innovating together, uh, uh, enabling ICTs for sustainable development. Now, um, it's not all about last year's work. We've got, done plenty of work this year. You have an ambition to come up uh, with outcomes by the end of the conference. Have you been able to achieve that ambition? Yes, indeed. Uh, this is uh, the, the outcome document of the WSIS uh, forum. Uh, we are sending uh, the old delegates uh, home to their capitals and uh, to their cities uh, with the good message that we are working very hard, uh, but it paid off. We have concrete set of the recommendations for the future work. We have series of the partnerships uh, which have been established uh, here at the forum uh, and uh, the follow-up work will be happening uh, in the, uh, in the flow. Uh, in addition to this, uh, we are holding uh, a lot of discussions on the, how the implementation component of the WSIS uh, should be uh, debated and uh, should look like beyond 2015. Uh, we, we launched at the beginning of the WISIS uh, Forum uh, the WSIS uh, SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals Matrix, linking these two processes with the hope that our voice of those implementing and working on the ground will be heard in the um, uh, process review processes of the WSIS and the SDGs in order to make sure that we are advancing jointly and the future ICT for the agenda. Uh, and this happened. Uh, we have already the feedback uh, that uh, this um, tool, uh, which we put forward just for the comments, has been greatly welcomed by the top leaders of the ICT um, industry, and by the ICT ministers, and put on the top of their political agendas. Uh, so we believe that uh, during this week we made a significant change in the global debate on the how the ICTs can impact the uh, sustainable development and how we can uh, reinforce uh, our efforts in order to, much, to make much more in the field of the ICT ecosystem together. You've been involved with uh, WISIS for some time. Uh, maybe not a fair question to you, but how would this year compare with others? Do you consider it a, a good one? Yes, definitely uh, for me this is uh, the best uh, forum I ever uh, had. Uh, I had the pleasure to accompany uh, the WSIS uh, forum from its uh, uh, foundations. Uh, 
And the beginning uh, was very difficult uh, to engage the stakeholders and uh, to get uh, them understood that this place is to make the real and uh, talks about the real business, real impact on the development. Um, and now it works. Uh, we have plenty of the stakeholders uh, coming to us, congratulating and in fact thanking for giving them the opportunity and providing the platform and for talking the business. Uh, and this is what counts because public-private partnerships is the future of the development and we hope that uh, in the next coming years, 2016, 17, 18 and in the new um, paradigm of the WSIS beyond 2015, uh, the much more focus will be uh, paid to the ICT 4D uh, agenda, uh, which is the main focus of this uh, platform. Well, uh, Mr. Ponder, we thank you for your time today. Thank you very much.